touch bases with you guys, see what 2018 is going to be like, and it came out. Um, how has the response been to that? Like, how you, what kind of feedback have you gotten from the world? It's been uh, very good. It's been cheap. Yeah, super cheap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got an awesome response from it, for sure. Um, just from, like, our community and other musicians and stuff like that. I mean, we didn't have, like, Rolling Stone review it or anything, you know, so I guess it could have done better. But uh, overall, definitely got seemed to be received well. Well, it is amazing. Thanks, uh, Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem at all. Yeah, a lot of people tell us they just really listen to it and stuff. And, um, yeah, I'd say there was a, more of a, more of a uh, response than the record before, which is cool. It's growing. Yeah, that's always a cool thing. A lot of people do say that they're like listening to it constantly, and it 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 does make you feel like okay, well, I made something worthwhile. Then it's easy for an album to come out and rinse through it a few times and then move on. But if people are still listening to it, then it's got staying power, so that's a good thing. Yeah, there's no doubt you could play it over and over. I've definitely nice. listened to like eight-hour editing sessions right in. <laughs> so oh, cool! Awesome. awesome. That's great. That's it's funny because we probably haven't listened to it in a while, just because you listen to <laughs> it over and over and over in the studio when you're editing. And I listen to it. Every so it's good to hear that you. <laughs> I listen to it every night. Every morning. A lot of my, I'll like get in friends' cars like in Boston and it's just playing. Nice. Like yeah. pretty often. <laughs> it just, I mean maybe just because they're my friends and they want to impress me. <laughs> what is your favorite song of the album? Um, the song. Maybe Onlookers because it's so fresh and like new. It was such a different thing for us and uh. A lot of people like Gallows Hill, and I like that one too, but it's maybe because we've been playing it longer. Onlookers is like newer, and a lot of times when we write a new song, we're like <clears throat> stoked about it for a while. And it's just a fun one to play. It's like a um, pretty simple form. I get to take a guitar solo. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would have said Gallows Hill initially. I love the way it came out on the record. Um, and if I had to choose a second one, probably American Apocalypse. Um, you know, just able to really take advantage of the studio for that one. And, uh, Make it sound really big. So. Yeah, Gallus Hill probably, I, I feel like, is from a production standpoint, is really cool. It's the one that I like when I listen to it. I don't feel like I'm listening to like, my band playing, you know? Mm -hmm. It just kind of has a different sound than what we can, that we've done before. Um, but the Donut Ghost Houses are cool. Because I like the Mellotron vibe on them, and that mm -hmm. hip hop al element wasn't something that was on our last record a lot, but it's a big part of our sound, so I like having that on there. Um, but also, yeah, Onlookers, just because it feels fresh. Shout out John Modeski. Thanks for letting us use your Mellotron yeah. on the record. Yeah. It's a pretty cool instrument. It has tape reels for each key. So when you play like A or B, it plays a pre recorded note on a tape reel of like a string, a violin playing that note. So you can play like chords and like. It's, it's kind of like the first sample I ever made. Oh, yeah. Um, weird, creepy kind of. Yeah, yeah, it slightly like goes out of tune a little bit. Yeah. So it's a very unique instrument. It's like on a reel, so it's, it has this mm -hmm. old feel. Like it rep for us, it like kind of emulated like an old horror movie soundtrack. I mean, we could have went crazy and put it on like every track. It, it's on the two Donut Ghost Houses in yeah. Stolen Land, or no, it was it yeah, yeah, Stolen yeah. Land? Yeah. And then there were other ones, and we had to like dial it back. We're like, we can't just put yeah, Mellotron on every track, even though it was hard. Like I kind of wish it was yeah. almost on there more, but um, yeah, it's a really cool instrument. It's cool to get that sound on there. Thanks, John. Yeah. The first thing that like drew me to you guys was Skullhead. Nice. Like when you did that break in the Batman, I was like, who are these? Uh, yeah. like, now they're like my favorite band. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that was cool, but that one definitely was a song that just kind of sticking. Oh, cool. I, heard, I was like, man, this is so cool. Cool. Yeah, we kind of described it as like Ennio Morricone dub, you know that, and I really like that <laughs> kind of like concept. Like Ennio Morricone is one of my favorite composers. So and that has the Mellotron on it too, so it's got kind of that cinematic yeah. vibe. Off topic, totally, but I may have done a little reading on you and saw something that I found to be hilarious. Um, so I see that you guys like to yell out the windows at pedestrians from your car. Does it say that? Does it still that? say that? It still um, says that on your band camp. Oh boy. <laughs> a lot of band camp. <laughs> wow. So I would like to know what kind of reactions or what is your favorite reaction. The best is Burling. Whenever we go to Burling, oh, God. we yell at the college kids. Not every time. <laughs> We did it more when we were like in high school, and it's evolved more now. We do um, like prank phone calls sometimes in the van. Yeah. Uh, we prank call like venues that suck, um, <laughs> or like guitar centers, just because they're like easy to fuck with. Um, like our friend Jules that comes on the road with us, uh, we have some really good like back and forth. Like 
I call Guitar Center and I'm like trying to sell them an expensive guitar and I like hook them in and they're really into it. And then he plays a character and he's like, hey, where's my dad's guitar? And we're like fighting back and forth and the Guitar Center guy's like, uh, yeah, but he's like he won't. Hey, he's he wants he wants this guitar. Like, so you're really gonna need to bring a photo ID. Yeah. To sell that. <laughs> yeah. So we have we have a lot of these recordings, and um, we're trying to figure out how to go about putting them out. Album material. Yeah, we talked. We they they almost went on cheese. Right? We got to clean them up a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully they'll see the light of day sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll let you guys know when they do. What else? What are you going to do as you're going back in and start recording something new? What's 2018 look like? Well, we like just, uh, today is the first day of our winter tour and we just announced our next tour, which is going to be with Zion and I, um, like the southeast, um, in March, starting in March. So it's going to be like a two week run down there. But um, yeah, after tonight, um, we've got a couple shows in like Connecticut and New Hampshire and then Colorado, Midwest, a few more shows northeast before we head south with Zion and I. So it's definitely going to be busy a few months. Um, we'll probably be writing and stuff on the road, but wouldn't have time to record until like the summer. But hopefully, yeah, we want to keep, just keep writing and keep yeah. churning the music out for sure. Mm-hmm. Really appreciate that. That'd be yeah. awesome. Totally. You guys gonna be at this jam? Don't know yet. That'd be cool. I'm not sure yet. We're still yeah, summer's still up in the air. Yeah, you know, still falling. Mm-hmm. Still, still booking some festival plays, but yeah, cool. hopefully it's always super fun. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you, yeah, guys. Guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks again. Oh, yeah. Love you guys. yeah, it's always always happy to talk with you guys. Oh,